Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and today I've got a redstone tutorial for you. This is an auto switching block swapper water elevator. Everybody has seen my block swapper video and apparently many people have wanted to make a water elevator that switches automatically between the soul sand and the magma block. And I have now made a video here so I can show you how that's done. Let's take a look at how this works though. You can see here we've got this and you've got magma blocks which means it's pulling you down from the surface. There's our surface, it's grass. Now if I go into here, if I press on this pressure plate, you can see it switches over from the magma block to the soul sand, so it should be going up, okay? And then when you release it, it waits a delay and switches back, okay? So if I go in, it switches and shoots you on up and we're out. Yay, we're up on the surface of our nice world. And then if you ever wanna go back down to your little hidden base, you go on down and you go on through, okay? And just to note, you can press shift while on the magma block so you don't uh, get any damage, some sneaking, okay? So I wanna show you how to build this. It's pretty easy. Um, and you can customize the timing yourself in case you have a larger tube. You can make the timing a little longer. Just all depends on what you have. But for demonstrations, this is what I've got. Okay, let's get started. Let's work on the block swapping part of this mechanism. Okay, you're going to have a block right there. You're going to put a sticky piston facing upward, a piece of soul sand, which is your upward movement in the water elevator, and then your magma block, which is your downward movement. We want the magma block on top because that is your default uh, system for the water elevator. It should be pulling people down into your base. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to do the powering of this whole mechanism. So we're going to go two blocks out and put our pressure plate. Okay, so then we're going to pass that signal down below it. So we're going to put two blocks. We're going to put a spacer there. And this is the redstone, okay? So when this pressure plate gets pressed, the redstone activates. We're going to bring that around to the side and up, okay? So we're going to put another piece of redstone dust and a redstone repeater going into this block, okay? So now that's going into that block. That block is powered, but it's not powering anything yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a redstone torch. And on top of that torch, you want to have a sticky piston. Now, I'm going to put some spacer blocks really quick, some temporary blocks so that I can place this piston correctly. So it's facing that way. You can see it fires right away. And it's being fired by that torch, okay? So if we step on this pressure plate, you can see it goes away. And when we get off of it, it pushes back. Now, you notice the soul sand didn't go up yet. We still have to power the soul sand, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a block down here with a piece of redstone dust. This is powered because of this torch. And then we're going to pass that into another redstone torch, which should go out. And there we go. And that's all you need for the actual mechanism to work. This is a very simple mechanism. So when I go on here, you can see it flipped and the soul sand came up. Walk off of it and it flips right away. Now the timing on this is very quick. And it's probably too quick for any feasible water elevator. So we need to add some timing. And this is where a lot of people are having some trouble. Okay, you can see how quick this is. Okay, so let's add some more timing to it. This should be pretty darn easy. So we're going to uh, take this system out. You saw that I had a redstone repeater going into this block. Okay, I took too much out there. Sorry about that. Let me put this back. We're going to put the redstone down. Here we go. Okay, there's the redstone coming down from the pressure plate. Let's go around the other side because we have a little bit more room here. Okay, and we're going to go right here and we're going to put in the repeater. So we're just powering this block from the other side. Okay, so now what we want to do here is I would like to use... And what I use for my builds is a comparator clock, which helps to uh, take the signal and kind of slowly degrade it over time. So I'm putting redstone around from our pressure plate around to the comparator. It's going to go into a comparator here. So we're going to put two of them. It's going this way. And then it kind of cycles around and goes this way. And what that does is this will slowly degrade over time until it eventually turns off the signal. Okay, so now let's go back over here. I'm going to try this pressure plate. Okay, I'm standing on it. You can see it, how it lit up everything and it switched to the soul sand. And I'm, I'm off of it and you can see the signal slowly darkens and then it comes back. So it's a lot more of a delay. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So that's even better. Now, all you have to do to make this a longer delay is add more uh, comparators. You could extend this out this direction or this direction. However you do it so that this redstone signal goes into on one side and this side goes to the repeater powering that block and you're good, okay? Let me make the rest of this so you can kind of see it in action. I know I can have this pre-built, but many people seem to like to see it being built so they can copy it. So we're gonna build out this platform really quick and we're gonna build up the water elevator, okay? So here we go, we got that. That's the basic platform there. Now we're gonna basically make the shaft that's at the bottom here. So we wanna have two blocks there, two there, two there, okay? We're gonna put two on top of this sticky piston. 
right there on the, the extended portion of the sticky piston. And there we have that. Okay, now we're gonna put two signs here. This is so the water will not leak out. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now we're gonna make our shaft that goes above this. So we're gonna do um, something like that. Okay, and we're gonna go four blocks or so up. This is for my test. There's two, there's three and four. And of course, uh, this is a base. So we wanna have like some grass or something out here. And I'm gonna make this kind of uh, be five wide so that you know we don't fall off when we come out of this. But uh, it, this is just a simulation of your base. And there we go, okay? So that's the shaft and the surface and your little base down here. Now you have to fill this with water. And this is a little bit tricky and it can, there's different ways to do it. You could go in here and with a water bucket, if you have lots of buckets, put a water source on every one of those places. And that's great and that works great. But let me clear this out. I'll show you what most people do in this case because you know you don't have a lot of water buckets. Especially early on, you don't have a lot of iron. So what a lot of people will do is you'll go in here, you'll go up to the top and you'll basically put a bucket of water right there. It'll flow down. But remember, all of these need to be water sources for the water elevator to work. So how do you fix that? Well, what you do is you gotta go in here really quick and of course, wait for your delay to go be done. So you have back to the magma block. There we go. Take that out, put a piece of dirt temporarily and now you plant the kelp, okay? And when you put kelp, it actually makes the block around and in that space a water source. So then just go all the way up like that, okay? And there you go. That is all now water sources. It's pretty easy to do. So now when you go back down here, I think you just go like that. It breaks everything. And of course the dirt will come back eventually. And I gotta walk in here actually. So I don't wanna go all the way up yet. No, no, there we go. Now that dirt needs to be replaced with the magma block. So let's go put that back. We'll take that out, put that magma block back. And now you have a functioning water elevator. So let me reset it here real quick. Okay, so now it's like in downward mode. You know, we're gonna leave our base. We're gonna leave it. Here we go. And shoots us on up and there we go. And then in a few seconds, it switches back and then we can get pulled back down. And again, if you press shift while going down, you won't take damage on the magma block. If you're standing up, you will take damage, okay? So yeah, I think that is about it for this. Hey guys, I sure hope you liked this video. <laughs> if you did, hey, click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks guys, have a great day, bye-bye.